All right, Amani channel, and I have a special recipe for all you mobile Android users. You know, I've been focusing a lot on the iPhone since I have an iPhone, but I got something really cool. Um, this is the, the Sprint uh, LG G2, which is an awesome Android device. Um, so I, I've been testing it out with video specifically. I'm not going to do like a drop test or talk about the, the specifics, the dual core processor, all that kind of stuff. I'm more interested in the video. And what I want to show you, first of all, was how to get your video from your Android device into a Mac. Because when I first plugged in the USB port, uh, the phone did say that it was connected or connect to a, a computer via USB, but I still wasn't getting any sort of files and the, the, the device was not appearing in my finder. And so that was a challenge, right? Because you need to be able to transfer files to your computer if you want to edit them or do whatever or import them into Final Cut Pro or whatever your editing software is. All right, so this is a, a link that I found. It's how to transfer. I just Googled it and uh, this uh, search popped up how to transfer files from an Android phone. Thanks to digitaltrends.com. Just giving them a shout. Um, but they do have an article and a link to a piece of software that works very well. And so um, it just gives you some. Uh, information here on Android file transfer which I just installed and it appears to work so you go ahead and click on the link there and then it brings up the website and so give it a second to load this is the Android file transfer you can find it at android.com slash file transfer and these are the requirements uh, it works for any Macintosh computer running Mac OS X 10.5 or later and then you need an Android device running Android 3.0 or later and then you just download it and then you just follow these instructions to install it and it appears to work fine and so let's go ahead and go to the finder now and i already transferred it there so uh i already have it installed there's the program so let's go ahead and double click it now and see what happens oh, there's our little man there's the android man right there and look there are my video files all right so I'm going to take them and look, they're transferring. So it's going to take a little bit of time because it's four gigs of video. But hey, that's how you can do it. You can also um, use Bluetooth to connect your Android to your computer, which I tried to do. It didn't work. You can also um, create an IP address, a subnet, and do it via wireless. That, again, didn't work. But it looks like this software is working. So now that I'm getting these files, the next thing I can do is edit a little video that I created just to show you my setup. I also share some tips on how entrepreneurs can create some simple videos um, using their mobile device. So click uh, the annotation to see that video. And hopefully this is really helpful for you. Amani channel, webvideochefs.com. Go to webvideochefs.com slash mobile for your free mobile storytelling guide, which has all sorts of accessories and tips for shooting a uh, mobile video with both your Android or iPhone. Though the guide is has more information about iPhone, but still the gear works for Android as well. And I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully this really is really helpful for you. Peace.